boys and girls today I've um, decided it's time that I'm gonna change the rear light on the Triumph I've been uh, thinking about it for quite some time now and I think I'm gonna put a early T120 style light on the back so uh, give it a new sort of look really give it the old T120 kind of look so probably gonna need to drill some holes here and there and well, we'll come to that when we when we get to that part, I suppose. But let's take this one off and uh, go from there. The uh, the T one twenty light's going to sit a little bit further back. So. Oops, so that so the number plate's not gonna hang straight down, it's gonna sort of like slope back a little bit. So these two holes will probably need to be drilled further up. And these two holes will need to be drilled further up, I expect, and maybe possibly bend the bracket to suit the angle of the of the uh, the number plate. But we'll see. We'll see sit that needs doing when we, uh, when we get to it and uh, the whole distances from my number plate so I don't want to drill any more holes in the number plate so we're, we're measuring them up at the centre of there is uh, where is that let's go millimetres shall we so it looks like 70 72 millimeters. Yeah, about the same that side. About 72 millimeters. Hole centers. Let me just drop that down. They could do a bit of a cleaning up and painting as well, I think these brackets, don't they? Make them look a bit neater, I think. Give them a little bit of, a little touch of paint. I've only just changed this light as well to put a, a decent bit of alley in there. Why is that? Please move the wires. That's handy. I've got a, uh, a chop block in there. Don't remember doing that. I think I like to put this chop block in because when I bought this, uh, this second hand light fit in, the, uh, the wires were cut off. So this is your original one. Makes it easier to wire the next one up, doesn't it? So we give this a bit of a clean up. Get this crud off of here. Clean those brackets up and respray them. And then we can put our new one on. Shiny. See, it's all the uh, nice and clean metal now, so we can uh, prime that up and paint that once it's cooled down. Just going to use some uh, primer. Yeah, some thin coats will do. Uh, 
and they're nice and shiny for the moment. Wait for, wait for them to dry. Can't see the bats, I don't think. So while I've been away, I've put a couple of um, three female bullet connectors on this chop block. Let's see if we uh, see if we can safe cutting the wires off of the right fitting. I've got the right fitting, it's turned up. The one, the one I want to put on, get it out of the wrapping coil, is one of those. So it's only got two wires on this one, is it? So you want to put one of these lights. I think they look nicer from one of those lights on it than the, the old square T140 light. Okay. What have we got? We've got a smaller bracket to go on. And Fit. Try and fit the alley housing. So hopefully that can go. That will go through over that rack there and use the existing hole. It looks like that will fit. Yeah, yeah, that looks like it will fit. That will fit on there. I think that's the first job really, we just screw that on there. The grab rail chrome uh, tube is preventing the, the housing from sitting down properly onto the mud guard. So let me mark out where I need to do a little bit of filing. Let's see if I can get that around there. So you see there's a gap underneath there where it's hitting the top of the uh, the grab rail frame. So that's I can either do that or pack out pack out the uh, the housing a little bit but I really want that to sit flush onto the um, onto the mud guard so I think centre that up and we, it's hitting there See that with the backing plate on, as you see the holes down the bottom. <coughs> Gotta get a new fucking stand. It moves up by an inch, so you can line that up like that. Is it me, right? You got to screw the plate on, right? You can't get to the screws to screw the light on. So, you screw the light on first. Let's put the epoxy wire screw again. So, you screw the light on first. Really? 
Does that mean you've got to peel the rubber band to try and get the, the, the screws for the plate? Looks like that's what's got to happen. There's no earth. No earths on these either. Let's screw these ones in. Screw that one in first. And what we do... need to uh, get an earth tag on one of these screws here to plug into the earth because I don't think that's going to uh, I don't think that's going to work being, being painted like that that's not going to earth anyway Say the red one's the uh, the brake light. That's no good. The uh, these are smaller than the bloody. Gonna have to change them over. And that's the lights. So we check that. And see if the I'll turn the lights on. See if we get a bit of illumination there. Brake light if it stayed in there. Let's in there. Lights. Brake light. Probably doubled it up, I think. Uh, I'm just going to stick that on there. Find where the bolts went. So far so good, I'll put the brackets on, the lights all fitted on, that's all up with the mining. Now I'm going to put my number plate back on. There we go, it's finished. Right, so there's your back light fitted on. I think I'm probably going to replace this with a proper Lucas one because I don't know if it's too tacky an aftermarket one but uh, yeah it's all on there alright really, looks good well, I'm pleased with that gives it that the older look doesn't it gives it more of a 60s look or 70s yeah so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll uh, catch you on the next one <laughs>